Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another Modern Warships video. I'm The Unknown, and today I'm going to be doing a review and a first gameplay of the It Pialo. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that. That's a crazy name for a ship. And just before I start the video, I want to show you guys a sneak peek of the Phantom Burning Camo, which is going to be in the VIP Pass. As you guys can see, it is black, and it has like a Damascus design. And it changes colors. It changes from a nice black, phantom black or whatever, and then it changes to like a rainbow color. I think that's a really cool touch to the camo, and it's definitely going to be a prized possession for some ships and some players. So moving on to the stats of the ship. The ship comes with one missile. I decided to put cluster onyx on it to compensate for that. It has two cannons, two torpedoes. Two auto cannons, a locked legendary air defense, Aster 15, and a standard one helicopter. Now I'm going to be doing a review on this in the uh, what's it called, the Stone Peaks map, and it has the ship has 136, 500 health. It is a lot of health. So let's go test this out in the Stone Peaks map. Why not? I'm looking forward to this. I hope it's a really good ship because if it is, I might buy it for my main account. Very nice looking ship indeed. Okay, it has really good agility. I like that. Very nice. Its top speed appears to be 24, 25 knots. Decent, decently fast. Decently fast indeed. Very tiny too, and it's a very goofy looking ship. I will say it's, it's very goofy looking for what it is. I don't even know if this is a real ship. Alright, let's go take this out over here. Get a nice thumbnail picture for the ship, shall we? I put the Modern Warships flag on it because it looks very nice with the Star Combat camo. It gives it that nice little splash of color. Well, this ship is moving, though. It's definitely... Look at this. It's like a freaking lagoon area. It's Man, this is such a cool map. Alright, let's see. Can we get a nice thumbnail picture? Oh yeah, there it is. Right there. There's the picture, right there. Oh yeah. Here we go. Alright, let's kill some bots, shall we? Where are the bots at? Man, this is... This map is just freaking insane. It's, it's very, like, it appears, like, very small, but it's huge. Oh, wow, that new tor- I think that's a new torpedo. It fires two in one slot. That's cool. I like that. This map is very good for taking cover. It has a lot of cover, and this ship this ship does hold its all pretty good. It has decent firepower. I like that. It's it's very good. That one missile. See if 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 you're a if you're a, a non-hero or legendary player, I recommend you put the Sea Star missile on this ship just to compensate for that one missile slot. Other than that, this ship is really good and it has really good firepower. Those two cannons really do help compensate for the lack of damage that this ship has since it has one missile slot. It's definitely a good ship to have. And for $3.1 million, I say it's worth it. Very nice ship. This ship is very nice. I do love this ship a lot. Oh, we got a lag spike there. Oh, that's not good. Alright, we're back, we're back. Man, this this map is just it's absolutely insane and it's it's very it's a very gorgeous map. Like man, all of the rocks and stuff, this this gives me like nostalgic Battle of Warships vibes and I freaking love it for that. Where's that submarine? Oh wow, the submarine went through the freaking rocks. Look at that. Oh no, that's a dirty, my fault.
There we go, we got the fourth kill. Let's go get that fifth kill now, shall we? We're gonna go right in between these rocks here. God, this map, man. This map is freaking breathtaking. I love it. Definitely, I would say, um, this is not a good map. This map is, like, it's small but huge. I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's just, it's a good map. Let's finish off the ship now, shall we? There we go. We got all five kills and 500,000 damage. So, firepower-wise, this ship has the full package. It has two torpedoes, but if you use that torpedo that I was just using, you're going to get four torpedoes. One missile, I recommend Sea Star for it. And for a cannon, definitely Core Cut D or the Bofors Nag Stealth Cannon or that Battle Pass Cannon Tier 2. Other than that, let me know what you guys think of this ship in the comments. I'm, I'm glad to hear you guys' feedback. I want to hear it. Peace out.